The Queen may be the head of England's state church. However, a new minister may challenge that title. A Catholic university heeds the magisterium by changing its insurance plan to reflect natural law, and a new study reveals that religious hatred is on the rise in America. All that and more coming up on today's edition of Catholic News Roundup. Catholic News Roundup is brought to you in part by PewSitter.com, your online Catholic newspaper for the third millennium. CatholicMediaCoalition.org, in line with the church, online with the world. Hello everyone and welcome to today's edition of Catholic News Roundup. I'm Matthew McAuliffe. A new position. The British government is announcing for the first time they will have a minister for faith in their government and she's a Muslim. Baroness Saida Warsi, former co-chairman of the UK Conservative Party, will be the new minister for faith and communities. The prime minister's decision to appoint the Islamic politician has caused controversy in the current British administration not only because of her blatant opposition to homosexuality, but specifically because of her takes on faith. Although she has been accused by the Muslim community of not promoting Islam, the Baroness is an advocate for the restoration of faith in the United Kingdom. The, in February of 2012, she said, quote, Britain is under threat from a rising tide of militant secularization, end quote. You may remember the British government is smack in the middle of two controversial policies, one involving gay marriage, and the other involving accusations of discrimination against Christians. Pastor released. After spending the last three years in prison waiting execution for apostasy from Islam, an Iranian Christian is finally released. Youssef Narakani was arrested in his home city of Rasht in 2009 for calling into question the Muslim monopoly on religious education of children. The Christian pastor was originally facing the death penalty for challenging Sharia law in the Islamic fundamentalist country of Iran. Fortunately, he was acquitted of apostasy and instead charged with acting against national security and sentenced to three years in jail, which he has already served. Although the Iranian penal code does not sanction the death penalty for apostasy, under Sharia law, capital punishment can be justified as a sentence. Hating religion. Attacks on American religious freedom have ramped up considerably, according to a new study put together over the last eight years. The Family Research Council and the Liberty Institute started compiling the survey of religious hostility in America after testifying to the onslaught of attacks on religious freedom in front of the U.S. Senate eight years ago and asked to provide proof of their claims. The list includes over 600 detailed accounts of attacks on religion in the United States in the form of court cases and their outcomes, including the contraceptive mandate in Obamacare, all of them, quote, turning the First Amendment upside down. Tony Perkins, president of the FRC, says, quote, the secularist's agenda only advances when those who love liberty are apathetic. Let this be a call to stand for religious liberty in the United States, end quote. You can read more about the survey of religious hostility in America on our resource page. Just click on the link right outside the screen. And stay with us. We'll be back in just a few seconds. Catholic News Roundup is brought to you in part by NewOxfordReview.org, the voice of Catholic Orthodoxy, in print and on the web. And RenewAmerica.com, expanding the influence of America's grassroots in the cause of freedom. Mitt Romney does not plan on repealing all of Obamacare, he said in, this, in his Meet the Press interview over the weekend. Romney told NBC's David Gregory that he was not getting rid of all health care reform, saying, quote, Of course, there are a number of things that I like in health care reform that I'm going to put in place, end quote. The presidential candidate went on to talk about how the health care plan he put in place while governor of Massachusetts covered deals with pre-existing conditions and with young people. On abortion, Romney said it would be his preference that Roe v. Wade be overturned by any Supreme Court justices he would appoint if any vacancies came up. More ethical coverage. A Catholic university in Pennsylvania called Gannon University is dropping its coverage of abortion in its health insurance plan to better reflect Catholic teaching. Gannon University, which is owned by the Diocese of Erie, Pennsylvania, was previously unaware of the abortion provision and only discovered the problem after the HHS contraceptive mandate forced them to review their policy. 
After Gannon realized the problem, the university sent a memo to their employees announcing they will be dropping the coverage, saying, quote, the university is modifying its current health insurance plans so that it better reflects our Catholic moral tradition and the ethics of natural law, end quote. You may remember, Gannon University isn't the first to change its insurance plan. Xavier University removed its coverage of contraception earlier this year. Prelates under fire. Twitter tirades from liberals after the Democratic National Convention are profaning Timothy Cardinal Dolan over his prayer asking for protection of the unborn during his closing benediction. The Cardinal's words, quote, We praise you for the gift of life. Grant us the courage to defend it sparked an avalanche of F-bombs to be tweeted his way on Twitter, coming from hundreds of angry Democrats. Meanwhile, the liberal news media is calling for Bishop Robert Finn of Kansas City to step down after being put on probation by a judge for delaying to report child pornography, pornography found on a priest's computer. A Kansas City Star editorial calls the sentence, quote, disturbingly light and says he must not be allowed to remain at his post while the Washington Post quotes a canon and civil lawyer at Duquesne Law School who claims Rome is not so immune to pressure, also calling for a diocesan faithful and clergy to come forward. His Excellency Finn has stated publicly that he plans to continue serving his duties as bishop. I'm Matthew McAuliffe. Thanks for tuning in today. Be sure and tune in tomorrow for your daily dose of Catholic News Roundup right here on churchmilitant.tv. Also be sure to check out The Vortex, where Michael talks about the 2012 Catholic vote in swing states across America. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to tell all your friends about us. And as always, God bless you. RealCatholicTV.com has changed its name. We are now ChurchMilitant.tv. New name on the dog tags, same battle plan for the salvation of souls. ChurchMilitant.tv. Join us in combat. Become a premium member today.